Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today we're going to be talking all about peppers. I've been getting a lot of questions asking what varieties I'm going to be growing this year and I have shown some of those in my grow room updates because I've already got my hot peppers started and I'll be starting my sweet and mild annuum peppers today. So I thought I would show you all the varieties I'm growing or at least going to start and hopefully they all germinate. So let's take a look at what we've got here on the grow shelves first. We don't have too many hot peppers on the grow shelf. I've really been cutting back over the last couple years on the hot peppers. This year we're growing the Beth Boyd Orange Scotch Bonnet. There's a Scotch Bonnet growing contest on the Pepper Lovers community on Facebook. So that is one of the reasons I wanted to grow this one. And we've got the Bikino pepper here. This is a small kind of cute little pepper I've been wanting to grow for a few years and finally decided to give that a try this year. And then my favorite pepper is my tangerine tiger cross. This is up to F4 now. And I've got three different uh, phenos that were grown by three different people last year that sent me seeds. These two here are from Rhiannon. These two are from Batman. And then these two are from Matsutake. And you could see the Matsutake was the first ones to germinate. And they're the first ones, it looks like, to get some primary leaves that are just starting to poke out there but they're doing really good so far and I can't wait to get some harvest off those. Now down here on the seed germination tray we've got two super hot varieties that I started a little later than I would have liked but I was late getting the seeds. These are some green or mustard varieties that I'm growing for some hot sauce. We've got the mustard ghost and I don't have any of those germinating yet. These, I'm a little worried about these because these are older seeds. So I don't know if those are going to germinate. And then we've got some seven pot mustard. And if we look real close here, you can see one of those is starting to germinate. This one up here is getting a little moldy, um, but hopefully we'll get a couple of those to germinate. All right, we're here at the potting bench. This is where I'm going to be starting all of the annuum pepper seeds. I've got 24 different varieties that I'm going to be starting this evening. All right, we've got all of our seeds here that we're going to be starting, and these are the trays that we're going to be using to start them in. So for the annuum peppers, because we have so many, I'm going to start them directly in potting soil. For the hot peppers and super hot peppers, I like to start those in paper towels. I've got a video on how I start them in paper towels a couple years ago, if you want to check that out. But we are going to be starting them in these large six cell trays. So these cells are about two and a half inches by a little over two inches, about two and one eighth inch. So these are perfect for our peppers. We're going to be starting five seeds of each variety in each cell. So we only need four trays since we've got 24 different varieties. Typically I just pick the varieties that look kind of cool, but this year I did more planning and I know exactly what I'm going to do with each of these pepper varieties. So this tray here is going to be my paprika peppers. So these are some Hungarian varieties that make really good paprika and also some other kind of wax type peppers. So the first one we have here is Beaver Dam, and this is a seed swap that I did with Gage, also known as RPIX from Pepper Lovers Community. So that was back in 2020. Now some of these seeds are a little bit old, so I'm not sure if they're going to germinate, but we're going to go ahead and plant five of these. And the potting mix that I'm using for these is a ProMix HP and I've already poked some holes in the potting mix. So you want to make sure to pre-moisten the soil a little bit before you put it in your trays. I've already got some labels here. So this is the beaver dam. And then we've also got this one called Luchauer paprika. This is a variety I have grown before and I really liked. I think I've only grown it once or twice before. And these are seeds that I saved I think a couple years ago. So we're going to go ahead and plant these, but I really liked 
this variety. It was really productive. So I'm looking forward to trying this variety again. And then we've got one called Wenks Yellow Hot. And this is a variety that I got from David Storch in 2022. He says it's an amazing variety grown in Albuquerque, South Valley. Now the next one is Gabby Hot Wax. So these are seeds that I saved last year and it was a really productive and grew really well. So I think this is gonna be a good one to grow again this year. Now, if you know me, I like to grow new varieties every year, but if there's a variety that I grow that really catches my eye, then I'm likely to grow it again. And I really like that one. And the next one is Sakura. This was a seed variety that I got from Pepper Donkey back in 2018. And I've got exactly, oh, looks like I've got six seeds of this one. Now I typically only grow one pepper plant of each variety and then any extras that I grow I sell locally at a, a spring plant sale. All right now the last one is a free seed that I got from Baker Creek and this was a few years ago. I'm not sure when I got these but they're a little bit old so we're going to go ahead and plant five of those. I don't know if I mentioned it, that's the lipstick pepper. All right, now our next tray is gonna be all of our jalapeno varieties. So for the longest time, I really didn't grow any jalapenos because I was, they were just too common and I wanted to try all the cool, neat varieties that were out there. But in the last couple of years, I've started growing more and more jalapenos and I've really come to love um, this pepper because it's so versatile and used for many different things. And I've got several, actually six different varieties of jalapenos that we're going to grow this year. And that is the most I've ever grown. There's actually a lot of neat varieties out there. So the first one here is the farmer's market jalapeno. And I got these seeds from Matt's peppers. And this variety has a lot of corking. It's called corking, but it looks kind of like a cantaloupe and it is really interesting. There's not a whole lot of peppers that have that feature, but I have grown um, one called Macedonian pepper, I think a couple years ago, and it, it's actually pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. All right, and then we've got one here called Natapeno. And this one was another one, almost in case you didn't notice, almost all of my peppers come from seed swaps. Um, so this one came from Ali Plichuli on Instagram. And this one is called Nada Peño because it has no heat. All right, the next one, this one is called Zapotec Jalapeno. This is from Oaxaca, Mexico. And it's a land race variety from David Storch that I got in 2022. He sent me actually quite a few really neat peppers from Mexico. All right, our next jalapeno, this is the matapeno. If you're a member of Pepper Lovers Community, you've probably seen this one. This is a really, really neat variety from Matt's Peppers, and it has variegated leaves, and the leaves are actually mostly white. So it probably does better in a shady area because white leaves don't take sun very well. So if you live in a shady climate or have a shady garden, this one might be a variety that you would do well with. But this is a new seed that I just got, I think late last year. So this is the F5 of that one. This next variety is called Diaguito and it is a stuffing jalapeno. So that means it's probably a fairly large variety. And I got this one from a seed swap as well back in 2021. And then our last one is from Fairy Morse. This one is called Tam Jalapeno. And this is a fairly mild variety. And none of these jalapenos I have grown before. So these are all going to be new varieties for me. All right, so this next one is gonna be a mix of Mexican varieties as well as sweet varieties. So the Mexican varieties I'm gonna be growing are Chilhuacal Negro, which is a, it's kind of a chocolate colored pepper and is really good for moles. 
And this is another, this one's one I got from Farouche Peppers back in 2019. So some of these pepper seeds are a little bit old, so I'm not sure how well they're going to germinate. But hopefully with five, we'll get at least a few. All right, next we have Pasilla. So this is another, once it ripens, it is a chocolate color as well. So it's also used in a lot of mole sauces. And these are ones from Botanical Interests from 2018. So another one that's a little bit old. So not sure how well those are going to germinate. And the last of the Mexican peppers is guajillo. And these are ones that I saved last year from, from the peppers that I grew. And the peppers I grew last year actually came from seeds that I saved from dried peppers that I got from a local Mexican store. All right, so that covers all the Mexican varieties. I decided not to grow poblanos this year. I'm just going to be growing those three. And then for the sweet, I call kind of snacking peppers, I'm going to be growing the Chloe's Sweet Tangerine. This is a variety that I grew last year and actually several years. It is probably one of the sweetest peppers that I've grown before and you can't really buy these anywhere. Um, I got these from Timothy Moultrup in the Pepper Lovers community and he sent me some seeds and I've been growing it for the last few years because it is a super sweet tasty pepper. All right and then we've got Candy Cane Chocolate Cherry. This one came from Matt's Peppers as well. This is a really neat variety. It's kind of got a little bit of striping going on so it is one that I'm really looking forward to. It's supposed to be really sweet as well. And then the last of the sweet peppers is Aconcagua. So this is probably my absolute favorite. Oh, where is it? There it is. The Aconcagua. This is seeds that I saved in 2021, but I've been growing this pepper every year for the past probably three or four years. And I got these seeds originally from Matsutake on Instagram, but they are a super, super large. I think they're from Italy pepper and I just love them. They're so productive for how big these peppers are. I think one plant produced something like 20 peppers, which is crazy for the, the size that those peppers are. So really one that I've been growing every year. The last tray we've got our gochu peppers. So this is a Korean variety that I got from originally from Kang Star. So I don't know, there's actually quite a few different varieties of gochu peppers. And I have been on a quest to figure out what variety this is that I got from Kang Star. And I have not been successful. I've, I've grown probably, I don't know, maybe six, seven different varieties of gochu pepper and none of them are as good as the one that I got from Kang Star. So I just call this the Kang Star gochu because that's where I got the original seeds from. But it is used for making kimchi and um, it makes really good dried pepper flakes and pepper powders. So I am loving that pepper. I am trying a new variety of gochu this year. This one is called Gyopo. This came from Second Generation Seeds. And the packet says that it's also originally known as the Gokseong Cho. But I've also talked to the person that provides the seeds to Second Generation. And she says that this is actually originally or also known as Lady Hermit Gochu. So if you've ever gotten seeds from um, one of those other Asian um, seed companies, this is also the, the Lady Hermit. I already know this is not the same as the Kang Star Gochu because this variety is a whole lot smaller than that one. So I am just growing it because it, it looks like it might be a fun one to try. All right, and then next we've got the Shishito. So I've grown shishitos. This is a really common variety. It's great for frying. It's great for pizzas. So we eat a lot of pizzas. Um, we've got a, our own pizza oven. So this is a fun variety to grow. And I've been growing this almost every year for the past several years. And these are seeds that I saved, I believe, last year from peppers that I grew. All right, next we have Padron. 
So usually I usually alternate between growing Shishitos and Padrones because they're a little bit similar. Um, Padrones are probably a little bit more spicy, um, but this year I decided to grow both of those. Um, but Padrones are really tasty on pizzas as well. That was actually the first time I've ever tasted a Padrone pepper is from a local pizza place in Seattle that used these peppers on their pizza. Now the last two peppers that I'm growing are Italian varieties. Let's do this one first. This is the Jolene's Rustic Italian from Red Fire. So these are good for um, frying, I guess. I don't have very many seeds of this one. I might only have, I think I only have five seeds. So we're going to use up all of these seeds. Okay, and then this last one, this is probably my oldest seeds. This one is called Frigitello. This is also an Italian variety, but this came from Franchi seeds. And this packet has not been opened, so hopefully it has been stored really well and we won't have too much problem germinating it. But I do have a few varieties as a backup plan in case any of these don't germinate. Um, but hopefully we'll get some good germination on these. All right, that is all the pepper varieties we're growing this year. Now I am going to be planting the peppers in a can again this year. This is a challenge that I've been doing every year for the past, I don't know, five or six years. And I will have to wait and see. I haven't decided which varieties I'm going to grow for that yet. And I still need to get my cans. So we're going to go ahead and get all these seeds covered up and moved over to a heat mat. Before we move these over to our germination tray, I am just going to wet the top of the soil a little bit with um, this bottle of water. And I've got this cute little top here that I got on Amazon that puts out a really nice stream of water, which is great for watering seedlings and seed trays like this. All right, let's get these moved. Here's our seed germination shelf. I've already got a 10 by 20 tray here and I've got it set on a heat mat, which is currently set to 83 degrees. And we're just going to get our seeds put on this tray. And can't forget our probe here. This is the probe that controls the, the heat mat. And we're just gonna put it here in the middle of one of these trays. Lastly, we're just going to cover that with a humidity dome. So we're just going to let that sit and it should take anywhere between probably five to ten days for these to germinate. So we're going to go ahead and check back in on these and see how they do. As they pop out of that soil, I'm going to be moving them up under the lights. And that's how I've been starting my annual pepper seeds for the last few years with pretty good success rate. If you're interested in seeing how they progress throughout the season, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting updates from the grow room every two weeks for the next few months. So you'll get to see what germinated and what didn't and how they progress as we get them ready for planting in the garden. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.